what's going on and welcome back to the channel okay so i thought i would try something new out and um i'm hoping it doesn't bite me in the butt but we'll find out as i do a first impressions um and obviously it came from river's edge cutlery um i really like their their website it seems like a pretty good i follow them on um instagram and facebook and stuff like that and they seem like they have a pretty good company out there and i, I, I think i bought something else from them. i just can't remember it's been a while but i really like following them and they have used some usually pretty good deals and stuff like that. And this is what kind of came in the box. Primary care. So that's actually kind of cool. I don't know why. It's just like a little band-aid holder. I don't know. It's kind of... Huh. My, I have a daughter, you know. She's nine, almost ten. And, you know, she always, you know, gets cut. I might keep that around and carry it. Maybe put it in my truck or something like that. Because she always finds a way to cut herself. Yeah, that's kind of cool. That's kind of a nice little gift. I like that. That's always a nice little thing to add to stuff. Um, put this bad boy away. And here's a sticker, obviously. Why not send some stickers out? Stuff like a card for it, just saying thank you. Um, yeah, that's kind of cool. I like that. Um, oh, I gotta forgot. I gotta cut this open. There we go. Uh, hold on now. Hold on. There we go. So that comes out. Some. All right, that's all that's in the box. Let's see what's in there. All right, let's get into this. So it, it did come from Big Idea Design. Um, I've heard some good things, some bad things from them, um, about them, not, not like from them, about them. Now, some people like them, some people don't. Uh, some people had problems with them in general. So I kind of just wanted to give my own get my own thing kind of going with them to see how they are um like i like the people that you know had problems with them stuff like that but you know i don't want to judge my opinion on people or companies from other people necessarily like i want to give them a try out so, you know see see maybe if it was just a bad deal or something like that you know what i mean i don't want to you know judge from someone else's you know problems i guess or something like that um so it says thank you for your support yada 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 join on youtube the sticker right there cool 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 all right, so this is what this is. It's the TI Utility Knife. Um, oh, it's got a lifetime warranty, so that's kind of nice. Um, there it is real quick. Just a, obviously, it's general information. It's got bottle opener, ceramic bearings, and deep carry pocket clip. It's stainless steel with grade 5 titanium. Um, what is this? Hold on, it's got something else right here. Spare parts but i don't see any spare parts besides the star bit for it so okay well at least it comes with a star bit for it so you don't have to go like wandering around looking for it for a bit at your house you just have one right there you just got to find something to put it in and obviously you have your little gel tablet right there so no worries about that now let's check this bad boy out this is like i said the utility knife um i kind of been wanting a fancy utility knife for a while now I just don't didn't want to spend the money on it, obviously, because they can be expensive. This one was like 160, I think, or 150. It was on the like I said the REC website. Um, I think on the Big Idea website, like it was like 170, and I think for this it was like 160, 165 with tax and shipping and all that type of stuff. Like that was all added into it, and that this it was like a little more on the Big Idea Designs website. So kind of just. I kind of played it by ear, like I look at the different websites, see what's, you know, what's cheaper, what's not. Um, and I've been wanting to check out some of their stuff, like big, uh, the Big Idea Designs um, stuff. Like they have some screws um, or bit drivers. They have some bit drivers, some bit holders. They have a lot of kind of stuff like that I want to check out. But I've been really wanting to check this thing out for a while. They also actually came out with a knife. I do not know anything about the knife yet. So I thought it kind of looked like this, like obviously like this shape. Um... I just couldn't pull the finger, pull the finger, pull the plug on that one yet, or whatever you know. Um, it was like 230. That's I think that's why I kind of didn't do that just yet because I wanted to read more into it. Because if I'm gonna spend my own money on it, you know, I want to make sure it's something I can use, something I can keep, something I or you know whatever, I, you know, whatever. Be a collector, right? Just be a collector with it. Um, it is a frame lock, and it's got a rear flipper tab. So check it out real quick. That's kind of cool looking. The rear flipper tab works really, really well. Like, no problem. The frame lock works perfect, too. It really does work pretty daggone well. 
Um, at least it, at the moment it feels like it does. We'll find out the more we use it. I think it's kind of stopping a little bit on me, but I could just be getting my finger caught on the frame lock. I think I'm kind of getting it like right there and it's doing enough to kind of keep it from flipping open all the way. Uh, I feel like I get it open better if I kind of put my finger right here towards the end and flip it right open. Now it does have a little bit of jimping right there. Um, kind of smooth, but not bad though. Like I think for this little thing, it'll be pretty good for it. It does have a little bit of jimping on the rear flipper also, like two little two little knobs or notches, three, two and a half. We'll go two and a half. So it's got a little bit of texturing right there for you that you can get it open. Um, pocket clip is deep carry. Not bad, not bad, it's pretty tight. I think it'll work for you. I don't know about the lanyard yet though. I don't know about that. Like it looks like it might be all right. Like it kind of goes with it, kind of a basic little design for it. But I don't know if I'm gonna like carrying it around with that. Like I'm not a big lanyard person at all, so that's something I might take off. I'm not quite sure. Um, yeah, it's just kind of goofy to me sometimes. I'll keep it on. I'll probably try it for a little while. Now, what I like about the pocket clip is it is reversible. You just got to take this one screw out and flip it over. Super easy. I think that was one thing they really liked to do, and they wanted to try it on the knife also. And I think they did do it on the knife. Um... Just make it super easy, switch it back and forth, and you're good to go. And then, also, obviously, there's no screws on the sides of it either, except for the pivots, obviously. But I think that's what they also were going for. Like, they wanted this to kind of, like, lock it in place so it didn't obviously go nowhere, so you didn't have, a, like, a whole lot of screws. It's almost like a, a simplistic design, I guess. Like, it's very simple, but it's very nice looking at the same time, if you know what I mean. Like, I don't know if that makes sense to people, but it does to me, kind of. Like, it looks very clean. Clean. How about that? It looks clean to me. Um, check. It is a bottle opener. Let's Hold on. Let's check this. I think this is like kind of like a little, obviously, kind of pull it open yourself. Not really for the thumb, obviously. Not going to work that way. You can obviously, if you grab it this way, you can do it. Um, it's a bottle opener. Let's check out how to take the blade out. Oh, and that's one thing. It didn't come with blades. Extra blades. I didn't think about that. I kind of wish it would have. It did, I did read that it does take extra, like any blades though, like a whole, it named off like five or six different companies, like different blades that you could use for it and everything. So obviously you can change out the blade. It is a bottle opener. So that was obviously one thing it said. I don't know how exactly how it, obviously, well, obviously I think it does. You just put the cap right there. You got this little lip right there and boop, pop it right open. Um, yeah, not bad. I'm going to check it out. I don't know if I... How well I like this, the blade changer, because it's not an actual button. It's just kind of you push it apart is what you're doing. So it is very tight, so I don't think it's going to come out. Let me try it. All right, so it's locked in pretty well. It doesn't feel like it's going to come out. Obviously, I don't want to cut myself, obviously, either. It looks like it's in there pretty well. So, hopefully that's not a problem. It looks like the blade only goes this far, though. I can't remember if it was already... Maybe that's where it was at. Maybe that's what it was, where it was at. Yeah, I guess that's where it at. It locks in right there, so... It is kind of hard. Not hard, though, but it's kind of a... Kind of a hassle, in a way. Yeah, okay, so it stays in there pretty well. It's not too bad. You obviously have some T8s right there. Let's check it out real quick. <laughs> it looks like T8 because the small ones right here look like T6. Um, actually, I think I may be wrong. Oh, but okay, I'll give him props. T10 right here. And that's a good idea. I like that for the pivot and everything, pivot screws. I like that. 10, 10, T10 is a good idea. I, I, I can dig that. I can dig that. Now let's check out the little guys. Yeah. Yeah, those are the little T6 guys. That's all right. I dig the T10. That's cool. I'm glad they did that. They get props from me with that. Um, yeah, it's a really cool knife. I, not really a knife. It's a utility knife. I didn't want to use it. I bought this for a certain purpose, and it wasn't the take to work to beat up and use. 
because I've done other videos like that over utility knives and I take them to work I've lost them I've lost them down sewer pipes and they're broken and stuff like that and I'm not going to use that for this I kind of want to use this just to carry around my on my person just or my EDC pouches um, just to have a, a blade I can tear the crap up out of and when I'm done with it flip it to the other side flip it to that side and then use the other side and when that side's done I can just throw it away and put a new one in I always thought that was kind of cool I always liked them I use utility knives every day at work so I think it's just a good idea for me just to obviously like carry my one knife whatever knife I'm carrying in my my, my right pocket since I'm right-handed and have a backup knife such as this in my left pocket you know I think it's a cool idea and it's something that you can tear the crap out of if you don't want to obviously use your good knives because obviously I don't want to tear these knives up because they were expensive for one but um I have other knives and other stuff I can use to tear up but I ordered this right here I can use this on whatever I want um and not worry about it and change the blade out not worry about it dulling the crap out of it and or having any problems with it so I think this is kind of a good idea it's expensive though I hope I don't feel stupid for buying it later but so far so good I really like the way it feels I did have a problem almost with the box look the rectangle thing it's just very boxy and I thought it was kind of goofy but I just I said screw it let's try it so I'll let you guys know in the review slash overview um I'm probably going to be carrying this quite a bit. I do like the way it feels. It feels very good. Like opening and closing it too. Especially in hand. I have small hands. So if you have a bigger hand, you might have a little bit of problem. But actually, you can kind of choke up too. It's got like a small little finger twirl right there for you. So you can put your finger in that. And yeah, you can kind of choke up. Just be careful because it's a razor blade. So it's going to light you right up. But um, yeah, cool little knife though. I like it. That's kind of why I bought it though. I'm excited to use it just don't want to tear it up like a regular utility knife but um yeah that's all i got if you guys have any experience on this let me know down in the comment section if you guys like the video leave a thumbs up please i greatly appreciate it and so does the algorithm and uh, have a great rest of your day